so, so God uses this natural event to open his spirit to a greater truth. He perceived that the Lord had anointed him as king, confirmed him as king over Israel, which is a rather contradictory statement in itself because he's already been king for seven years. So how is it that he is the king, but he doesn't know that he knows, that he really knows, that he knows that he is the king? Because every time somebody called the king, he showed up. When they showed him the king's throne, he's the only one who sat in there. He got servants, he got all this stuff, but, 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 but he never perceived, it never entered the realm of perception, and that's where we're going to go today. I want to take you to the realm of perception because you can go through life not really perceiving what God has already done for you, what God has done for you. Now, go back to verse 1 because I want you to see this, and then we're going to uh, get into some practical principles. What Hiram did was build him a house. And that was the trigger to him perceiving that God had anointed him king. The, the, the amazing thing about it is that David could actually build himself a better and bigger house. I'm going somewhere with this. But because somebody else saw the grace on his life and recognized it and rewarded it, it triggered something in him. So it's not the house. It's not the house that moved David. When you understand this, you will recognize even in your own life, it's not what people do for you or against you that really moves you. It's what it does to you because of where you've been. David has just come out of a situation where he's running for 13 years. We dealt with that, right? But help me, let, just give me a moment to bring everybody in who are not able to be with us on Wednesday. But David has been a fugitive. He's running for 13 years, spending his time in the cave of Adullam, surrounded by people that are discontent, distressed, and in debt, and now he's become king, and he cannot really come to the realization that his messy past is over. God has shifted him already, but he still sees himself as wounded. The season has ended, ended but, but, but like, 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 like it happens sometimes when, when you chop off the head of a snake, it's still wiggling. There is no life in the snake, but you're still suffering the effects like an aftermath for an earthquake. There's not another one. This is just the reverberation of the tremors of something that has been. And sometimes those tremors can last a lifetime and you may be mistaken spending your life as if you're in the midst of an earthquake, but that earthquake earthquake happened 20 years ago and there's no more earthquakes coming in your life so you ought to step into another realm of perception okay come on so so so, so here is David and the house moves him a house moved him because somebody believed in him it's an uncanny thing because I don't care how much you believe in yourself when somebody else believes in you with the most pure of motives, it will make a king or a queen out of you. Come on. 